turn it back no 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 get me up get me up get me up get me up hey guys it's pro rogue bear here my name is ben and today i'm going to show you how to set up a heart rate monitor on your stream using obs live please feel free to leave any comments like dislike subscribe all that kind of stuff honestly any kind of interaction the youtube algorithm likes it but let me know down in the comments below did you try this out have you already been doing this did this video help you and what more other kind of tech stream things would you like to see let me know in the comments below So today we're going to be using an app called Pulsoid and you're also going to need a heart rate chest monitor. So we're using the Polar H10 and it literally, you get this chest strap and it's got these kind of um, things I guess that go across your chest. I'm not sure on the science of how and why it works, but basically you just connect it in to the, uh, the strap like so, pop it around your chest and it will read your heart rate for you live. Now these, I found this one, I had this one from cycling and running and stuff like that back in the day. And so I dug it out and I was just fortunate enough that the H10 actually works with Pulsoid. So it's just worth bearing in mind that not all chest heart rate monitors are gonna work. I could not get the Apple Watch to work. I will be looking into that because I do use an Apple Watch. So that would be easier than having to have a chest strap. But at the same time, I, because I use my mouse right-handed, but I'm left-handed, so I wear my watch on my right hand, I, uh, I tend to take it off while streaming anyway, or playing games anyway, because it, it's on the desk and all that kind of stuff. So the chest strap is kind of a good idea. So let's go jump in and have a look at how we do it. So some of the things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a mobile phone, and you're gonna need to download the Pulsoid app. So the Pulsoid app um, looks just like that. It's the, uh, the bottom one. And basically you download the app first of all. So when you've switched on the Polar H10, you should be able to see it in the list of devices. And we can see here the Polar H10 has been found by the phone. And so we know it's working. Now I'm guessing if your chest strap is not compatible, it will not show up on the phone. So that's just something to bear in mind there. So you can quickly find out if you, if you can find a chest strap or you've got a heart rate device and you wanna see if it works, you don't have to go through the rest of this and then find out at the end it doesn't work. Um, pretty much you just need it to connect to the app and it seems to pull through. So the free that are on the website for Pulsoid is the Polar H10. Uh, the Wahoo Ticker and a Kuspo H6, I think, a Kuspo H6. And they do have an article, so I'll link that below in the description so you can have a quick look. Um, obviously, I'm just recommending Pulsoid on the basis that it works. It's not sponsored or advert or anything like that. It just works and I appreciate that. We're gonna put this all together. And let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you what you need to do for the next step. So now we're going to go and have a look at how to actually get this all connected and hooked up. We're on the website pulsoid.net and they've got the heart rate widget for your live stream. So basically um, it recaps what you need here. You need a heart rate monitor. It's got the list of the article of um, all the different heart rate monitors it supports as well as the free. Obviously we've got the Polar H10. Um, the mobile app which you should have already downloaded but if you haven't already there'll be a hyperlink to do so here and to, to create an account with pulsoid.net um so what we can do is i'm already logged in um but you can click get started and it will give you the option for free quarterly monthly so if i just if i just log out for a sec um click get started and gives you um the option for the free basic usage free widgets and it's free forever now the free widgets i really like i'm happy with them and the usage seems everything that I need for the stream. Now, if you like the extra features that it has and the extra types of widgets and further analytics and all that kind of stuff, then you've got that option of going monthly or quarterly and going from there. But for now, we're just gonna do the free version and you can click sign up and sign up with Twitch. We'll just 
log you straight in and it will be a lot easier to set up you can also put all your details in here as well so create a password and everything and go from there what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and log in log in with twitch and it's logged me straight in now now obviously what we can see up at the top here are the three kind of free widgets that you get you get the resident evil ecg style animation um there's also the default one which is just a normal kind of counter it's the one i use and it's just literally 0 to 90 is green 91 to 110 is yellow blah 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 blah, blah. um and you can also get this one that's like a gradient so this one if you if we click into configure you can see it's like 1 to 50 is like an is like a dark blue cool uh color and then it goes all the way up and up to 91 and above is kind of like red so um, the gradient one, I might play around with this one as well, but basically the, the gradients here is just a cool little feature as well for like a visual um, kind of thing that goes on. Um, and you can change all these colors. So you can actually go in and change the types of colors. You can add extra kind of um, markers and, and points where it changes and you can remove them. So if you don't want as many and you want to do it in five increments or two or four or whatever, then you can go from there and do that. Now I've got the h10 plugged in um strapped around me right now so we can see it's online and it's pulsing it's connected to the phone and current value is 84 so basically what it's doing is it's the h10 is sending the heart rate to the phone via bluetooth and then the phone is then uploading it through the app live to the website i think there's like a three or four second delay um from what i can see that seems to be what's what's changed there and um and basically it gives you some kind of overall statistics and stuff i guess there's like so this further uh further analytics available on the on the pro plans and stuff like that if that's your jam um and they've got all like the highlights and things you can see some of the other other streams that we did previously um we were playing amnesia the dark descent um and yeah it was suggested to maybe try try put the heart rate on there and we we managed to put it all up and get it all sorted so the to log into mobile you can get a temporary password if you if you signed in via twitch you wouldn't have you wouldn't have created a password so they'll give you a temporary password and you can then just pop that in and log in with that on your phone um, and that will then just connect the two together and basically you're then ready to go so you're going to go to widgets and you're going to pick one of the free widgets you like so if we just pick the ecg animation and here you've got the browser source link. Now it says it works in OBS Classic, OBS Studio, XSplit browser source. It doesn't mention Streamlabs OBS, but I can't imagine why it wouldn't work because OBS also has browser sources. Um, so I guess they just haven't mentioned it, um, but you can click copy. Let me know if it doesn't work, but I'm, I believe it does. Um, click copy. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna then head into our OBS and we're gonna then install it. So we can see here I'm recording via OBS at the moment. So we've got this kind of uh, weird picture and picture and picture and picture uh, kind of thing going on here. Um, but it should still be quite clear for you guys to see what's happening. So I'm going to go down to the little plus here where I've got my sources. Yours might be laid out differently. I'm using uh, OBS Live. So it's the plugin version. Or it's basically OBS with Stream Elements plugin. Um, and so basically we're going to do the little plus here. And we're going to choose browser and you're going to get this create select source box appear uh, try to ignore the stuff that's happening in the background um create new and we're just going we can just call this ecg heart rate something like that so you can so you know then uh what it is when it's on the list of all your sources and you can then click create new and here's where you want to paste in that widget browser url that we just copied on the previous page now the width you're going to put as 920 and the height you're going to put as 1080 um so it goes like full screen now this i'm actually filming i think on a 1440p uh canvas um but it's not going to matter too much for this so you can see it's opened up there and we can see now we've got the thing so we've got the uh the heart rate here now just to clarify as well i stream normally on a on a 1080p canvas 
um, is just for this recording that I, I use this style for a 1440p canvas. So we could then put this over over the, the cam, for instance. You could put this in the top corner. You see now you can just move it around. Now, what I found quite cool was to actually go back and have both. So I configured and so I had the number as well. So you have almost the the uh, um, essentially, I guess the, you have the, the visual representation is what the word I'm looking for of the ECG heart rate. But then you also have the numerical number as well. So we can just say um, numeric heart rate, something like that. You know, you can, you can be more much more creative with the names. Um, and we'll do 1920 by 1080 again. Uh, everything else you can leave exactly the same, click OK, and whoa, we can see we got that, that big, big number there. So you want to bring this down and maybe you just want to put that there. Maybe you want to put that in the top corner. You can put that to wherever you want, basically, and that is now working. Ooh, <laughs> that's now working live. Um, little tip, you can like lock these for the things you don't want to move, and then you can just click. You can just click and grab the stuff that you do want to move. And so you know, you can play around with this. Um, I think I have mine like this, just at the, along the bottom, um, with a little heart rate and the uh, and the heart rate numerical number just ticking along next to it. And so it just creates that kind of visual representation. You can size them however you want. I've seen people like overlay them on top of each other, um, change the colors and things like that. So you can really play around with it, make it blend in with your stream and have that kind of uh, put your own brand colors on it and stuff if you want to, because again, within the widgets you can control the whole thing so um hopefully hopefully that has helped um and you can add as many of these as you want um as well and you can add them to multiple scenes and stuff like that so you can you can go from there really so there you have it guys that is the whole kind of tutorial there of how to get your heart rate monitor set up on your stream i hope you found this useful leave a thumbs up if you liked it uh, thumbs down if you didn't like it let me know and uh yeah it'd be great to uh see you again so hit that subscribe and notification bell for more videos like this you can also catch me live on twitch usually tuesday through to sunday that is twitch.tv forward slash pro rogue bear until the next one guys i will see you then take care all the best